sure that we're being respectful of each other. Um, this march is, is, is going to go really easy. I'm sorry that I'm scatterbrained. I'm really flustered. I'm, I'm grateful and I'm, I'm scared to say the least, but I can't believe all of you guys showed up. It, it means the world to me. I can't even tell you what that does for me. And so I'm just really, really grateful. She's one of the organizers. She's 21 and owns a nail salon here. I'll go figure. I'll go find out the information on it.
Queer Street Medics on Instagram. Can you guys hear me? There we go. Okay. Um, so uh, I created an account six days ago, Queer Street Medics. Um, we have two of our medics out here tonight. We're going to have two more that are going to be showing up a little bit later. Um, you can find me with the white backpack and the red cross. All of our backpacks are fully stocked with first aid supplies. Um, as far as tear gas goes, go check out their the Instagram, Queer Street Medics. Milk of magnesia or um, liquid antacid. And it's a 50 50 mix with water. Um, it's easy to make, easy to find. Um, as far as like um, first aid and stuff like that goes, um, if any of you get injured, find one of our medics. We have the first aid supplies to take care of you guys. There's about seven total medics here tonight, um, including the two that are going to be showing up a bit later. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for coming out. And I'm going to change gears just a little bit and talk about... Um, I want to hold a moment of silence for... Oh, I want to hold a moment of silence for the black trans people that were murdered in 2019, whose murderers have still not been caught. Out of the people, out of the black trans people who were murdered in 2019, only two people had their murderers charged or caught. I, um, I actually have a list of their names. I'd like to read them out and hold them up um, in a moment of silence while I read them. Uh, is that good with everybody? Hey, Ray Howell, I've already seen two homeless people fed, so shut the fuck up. Sorry, just a second. And these, um, the people I'm reading off right now are all trans women. Dana Martin, 31 years old. Ashanti Carmen, 27 years old. Malaysia Booker, 23 years old. Tamika Washington, 40 years old. Janelle Lindsay, 26 years old. Janelle Skirloff, 23 years old. Zoe Spears, 23 years old. Brooklyn Lindsay, 32 years old. Denali Stuffy, 29 years old. Tracy Single, 22 years old. Bubba Walker, 55 years old. Kiki Fantroy, 21 years old. Dime Doe, 24 years old. Bailey Reeves, 17 years old. Beast Slater, 23 years old. Yahira Nesby, 33 years old. And these two are non-binary people. Jamaggio Berryman, he goes by he and pronouns, 30 years old. Eli Washtalk, they them pronouns. 38 years old. Out of, in these times, we need to remember that these issues are not only facing one group. These are intersectional. The life expectancy for black trans women in the United States is 35 years old. We need to make a change. We need to keep showing up. We need to keep coming out here every single night. We need to keep making changes at the local level and do everything that we can to make sure that no, no more lives are lost. Because I'm tired of seeing my black and brown trans siblings ending up dead and not having news coverage, not having their murderers caught, not having anyone talking about them. So please, say their names, remember them, and do what you can from where you can. Thank you. Okay guys, I swear we're about to go in just a few seconds. Um, just a few more points I wanted to make and then I'm gonna have Rayma here. She's gonna lead us in prayer before we go. Um, but I just wanna make sure, for those of you who are out here as allies, please be good allies. Do not incite violence with the cops because I need you to know that when you incite it, we get the brunt of that. So please be a good ally and ask us what you can do to help. You know, don't don't take that into your own hands. We're happy we're here. We're happy to have you. We need you to continue to show up and make your voices heard for us. But just 
make sure you're respecting us. You know, this is this is our cause and it's we love you and we're so thankful for you, but please do not make it worse for us. Please just make sure you're asking us in what ways we need your support and what ways we need your help. Um, I think I think that's it. If anyone has any questions for me, um, please before we go, let come over here, find me or Sydney. We are gonna have crowd control to make sure you guys are keeping with the pace, make sure no one's getting um, separated from the group. Also, in the event that you get arrested, I'm not trying to scare you guys by any means, but it has happened. We watched a 13 year old get arrested for popping wheelies on his bike when we were out here protesting. If you get arrested, the bail number is 980-224-2097. You need, I am. You guys need to memorize this because I'm gonna tell you why. As soon as you get arrested, they're taking everything. Don't call your emergency contact, call the bail number. Write it on your arm, say it over and over again in your head. I'm gonna say it a few more times for you. 980-224-2097. Everybody got that? Y'all good? Okay, I'm gonna hand it over to Rayma. But um, before I started, I didn't want to preface be. this prayer because I know oh, that we're probably this going is out a right there. spot for a lot of people. Um, I am a Christian, and so I did take the time to pray for you all before I came out here. Like Ryan said, a lot of this can be a little scary, um, and it's new for some people, and I'm glad everyone out here. Um, but I want to emphasize the point that prayer is not an excuse for not acting, but prayer is an action, okay? <sighs> um, yeah, my pastor said it. I'm like, yeah, let's go look at it. in action, okay? Um, and so we all know about faith and how faith is about you can uh, believe, but you have to put something into practice, something into work too. So that's exactly what we're doing here today. We have to know that even though things may look bad, even though we may not see the progress that's happening, that God is fighting for us and he's, he's not against us. So um, we have to know that for one, that um, for people that believe and know about the enemy, he is the influencer of the air. So we have to fight in the spirit as well as we're fighting physically. Um, and so if it was represented by a body, if my arms were the physical, like what we're doing now, I want to say I'm not going to use my legs because they're not going to work. I'm going to use my arms and my legs. And so that's what we're going to do. We're fighting in the physical as well as in the spiritual. And we have to know that it's working, that this fight is bigger than us. And if we're looking at someone in a boxing ring, when they go back to the corner, they have a person that's there to replenish them, to help them to get better. Someone that, that knows and can see from the outside. And that's what Jesus did to us our replenisher and we know that in order for us to be good we have to be you know effective as fighters together we have to take care of ourselves and so what i want to do when i pray is, is for you to understand that you have to our emotions are good we have to be angry that's what's fueling the change out here but we have to know that when we leave here we got to deal with ourselves right we got to deal with what's internal to us and so that we just have the peace that we need and so like i said i know this is sore um, but if you even look back in the bible people went through stuff and god there. Even through the hard stuff, the length of it, God was there. And so that's what we're going to pray um, today. And I have my friends with me, y'all. Y'all can raise your hands. I go to Bible study with them. They're my community. If anyone, like I said, I know this is sore, or some people may believe different things, but if you do want somebody just to pray with you, um, believe or non believe or anything else, if you want somebody to talk to you about it, like please come to us because we're here for y'all um, the same way they are. So uh, we're going to pray. And then uh, I'm going to talk up because I'm going to get ready, okay? All right. Um, Lord, we just thank you so much for this day. We thank you, God, for Ryan, for Sydney, for bringing us together. We thank you, God, for the unity, the unity that we have right now. I pray, Lord, that your spirit of peace would surround each and every one of us, Lord, to know that we, we can let you in because you, you are the one, God, who is fighting for us. Your word says you fight for the oppressed. Your word says you are there for the brokenhearted. And so I pray, God, that you would help us to know that you are fighting for us. You came so that the oppressed could be saved, God. So as we pray for our hearts to be changed and to be fueled and have peace by you, we pray for the police officers that you would change their hearts so that they would treat people right. We pray, God, that there would be no injury, there would be no accident, no death tonight. We thank you, God, that you are covering us with your blood and that we will be effective fighters for you and for the kingdom and for all of those, God, who have suffered at the hands of the systematic oppression, God. So cover us. And Lord, um, for anybody that feels like they want to accept the Lord into their heart, just agree this with me. So God, we just thank you. We thank you that Jesus died for us so that we could be saved. We believe that you died on the cross for us and that you rose again so that we can have life. So we accept you. We accept the peace that you have, Lord, and we thank you. We're just letting this be a peaceful night.
Excuse me. Look who I found. What's up? <laughs> well, after I left last night. Hold on. <laughs> after I left last night, I went to the bar. And as soon as I got there, this dude grabbed my my friend's ass, and uh, me and me and my friend were telling him to leave. And uh, he got about halfway out the door, and then he put his arm around my neck. And so I grabbed him by the face and threw him down on the ground. Just, was it the guy from the Ivy Hotel, or is that is that the real story? <laughs> no. <laughs> what I've been meaning to ask is, uh, I heard that he got arrested last night. Is that true? Do you know? I'm right. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you. He took. He took the camera and put it on me. The guy from the London. Brad got to. So did anything happen with? Oh yeah, that's just what somebody was saying. Yeah. All right, they're figuring out where we're. They're figuring out the route we're walking, but we're heading towards uh, CMPD's headquarters over on Trade and Davidson Streets. Yeah, he just came up and took the phone for me and made me tell the story. Yeah, I was talking to the major, and he was like, after all the injuries that you've avoided out here, you go to the bar and break your fucking hand. <laughs> yeah. At least that's the story you're telling, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can't say it's on camera or anything. <laughs> gonna take the shortcut all right so uh he's gonna look into it for me right now he has to uh plan out the route so but we're heading to cmpd's headquarters trade in davidson street what's up man Bike squad out today. Black Lives Matter! 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 No justice, no peace! No justice, no peace! Imagine if you didn't know this was happening and then you turn the corner and she's like, What are these? 1,000 people doing no right now. Police. That's a big group of people. So we are on our way to CMPD's headquarters. It's a big group.
on our way to CMPD headquarters. Where there's not a lot of shade. Yes, we are going north on Church Street. I believe that we're gonna take a right on Trade Street and just walk straight to the police station. perched up on the second floor to shoot us. Just kidding. It was just a couple of white girls. Crossing over 4th Street, heading north on Church Street. I don't recognize a lot of people out here. Again. Vince, where are you? Why aren't you on the bike squad? This is what democracy looks like! When we get up to this intersection, I'll show you how big the crowd is. turning on Trade Street. We're going through Trade Street on Church. Smells like a over here.
This is the intersection of Trade Street and Church Street. We're going to the CMPD headquarters. They're not even turning on 5th Street. I don't know where they're going. Ton of people. That give you kind of a good idea how many people there are. Hey, Amanda, how are you? Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Crystal, I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a huge believer in the fact that this group will meet up with the other one, I hope. Because <laughs> I assume that the group that's at Marshall Park is pretty big too, just guessing. Because I'm a professional smoker and now... I'm a professional camera holder. All right, this is kind of the this is the end of the group ish. So I'm gonna hop down and start walking with them again. Yeah, it's like 500 people. It is. Thanks, Ashley. There's like 500 people out here. interesting because each group each part of the group has their own chant because you can't hear you can't hear the front of the group at all they're all they're two blocks up it's not a couple thousand uh, it might feel like that and I totally understand but they're just in a tight file. Could be like six or seven hundred, but not a couple thousand. It is a huge group though. It's the biggest group we've seen in two days. Shane, it's a protest, so you can do whatever you want. Look, we're just walking in the middle of the street. Why can't I fly a drone out here? What's my take on the budget, budget bullshit with CMPD? Um, I don't think that they should get 40% of the city's budget. And... I'm all for defunding the use of chemical agents, uh, mainly tear gas, you know. I've been hit with these pepper balls and they've hit the ground next to me and I've been hit with the flashbangs and 
Even though they're startling and they suck. It's definitely not the worst thing I've ever experienced. But suffocating in tear gas is for sure the worst thing I've ever experienced. No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! No peace! We're on Church Street walking toward... We're supposed to be going to CMPD's headquarters, but I don't know what street we're going to. So this is the intersection of Church and 6th Street. So they're turning on 7th. I'm going to go up here and meet up with the front of the group. So we're on our way to CMPD's headquarters. They're taking the long way. They just turned right on 7th Street from church. I turned on 6th. I'm gonna go meet up with them in the front. Should I talk to these two guys? Thanks, Sarah. the bike squad. Look at them. They have no idea coming for the front. I could take this. But I don't know how to ride a motorcycle. You think they would just shoot at me if I got on there and started driving? Hey, firefighters can be assholes too. Hey, look, that guy is holding a Queen City Nerve right in his hands. That's, that's right, that's what's up. And he's got a cool shirt. You're going to enjoy that Queen City Nerve, aren't you? You're going to enjoy that Queen City Nerve, aren't you? Queen City? Queen City Nerve all day every day. All right, what did I tell you? Front of the group. I'm getting good at this. This is a uh, college in sixth. And we're heading toward CMPD's headquarters. No justice! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Whose laws matter? Black laws matter! 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 Black lives matter. 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 Black
Nah, Christy won't be back in town till Tuesday. So we're at college in fifth, walking toward Trade Street. Uh, you can bring supplies and water and all that stuff to the jail on 4th Street. That's where the donation station is set up. There's a shitload of people in this group. Probably like six or seven hundred. Looks like we're crossing over Trade Street. I guess we're, uh, I guess we're gonna slalom the streets. So we just crossed over. Here's where it happened. Here's where it happened. Never forget.
Are we turning yet? It's a huge construction zone up here. Nope, we're still not turning. Bottleneck. Walking up on college and Martin Luther King. I just smacked my hand into a fucking parking cone. Nah, Christy's out of town till Tuesday. Oh, we're still going straight. We're crossing over Martin Luther King on college, headed towards Stonewall. I don't mean to sound so upset about it. I just like... Whew. We could have been there already. About to walk up on the convention center. Sarah, you didn't miss anything. We're just taking the long way to Sam PD's headquarters.
No, these aren't the same people from last night. Oh, uh, there's like 700 people out here. Nah, Trash Man Johnny is probably with the other group. Alright, we're turning on Stonewall. Headed toward McDowell. Wheelie. So, this is the parking structure that we were funneled into when they released the riot police on us on Sunday. Started shooting us with pepper balls in there. So I got shot in the back of the leg as I was walking away for no reason. Good times, good times. So uh, we're coming up on Caldwell. We got the dirt bike cops on the right because we're not going on the interstate. That scooter's fast.
<laughs> yes, yeah, Shelly. Wait your fucking turn. How about this? You had your fucking turn for 400 years. Give them their turn. Shut your mouth. Yeah, everybody out here is young, except for the old people, but everybody else is young. I mean, if you believe that, Channing, then sure, I guess. So we're on Caldwell, coming up on Martin Luther King, headed towards CMPD headquarters. You can Jesus this and Jesus that all you want, but it ain't about Jesus. It's about all these people out here coming together for equality. And uh, if you don't understand that, then that just means that you've never experienced any adversity in your life whatsoever. And you're just a pampered little shit uh, with a super closed mind. Uh, I don't know how small the box gets, but you, you can't seem to get out of it. This is a huge crowd. Huge crowd. Thank you. You got waters in there? Fuck yes. Thank you. Of course. Bro. Every night I haven't been able to be out here. I've been watching you, man. Appreciate that. It's uh, it's taxing. It definitely is. Uh, thank you for doing what you're doing. There's been a lot of beautiful stuff out here. Yeah. A lot of great people. I don't know if you can see it. You can't. But way up at the top there. Somebody's leaning their phone out their window. <sighs> Drop that. I hope you got insurance. Hey, there's back wheel rich. Popping the wheelie. Fucking love wheelies. Wish I could do one. Is it really? Is that really your phone all the way up there? I'm an ass. <laughs> Kathy, are you out here walking? Fuck you. I don't care. Don't call me an ass. This is my live. 
Actually, I know I'm an ass. But to me, it sounds like you're talking down on what these people are doing out here. And uh, I've been with them for 10 days. And I think it's absolutely beautiful and necessary and uh, is changing the world all over and is exposing police brutality across the country. Um, I've watched countless videos of absolute police brutality uh, all over the country and it makes me sick to my fucking stomach. And everybody out here just wants to be treated equal and it doesn't happen. And if you think it does, then you're stuck in a box. Get out of it. Call me an ass all you fucking want. Yeah, Sarah, I can. Sorry, I can block people. But no, you should see it. All right, crossing over 4th Street. Bro, yeah, you can speak your mind all you want. I'm speaking mine. See how it works? Um, sorry. We are on Caldwell. We just crossed over Forest Street and we are making our way toward Trade Street. And we're about to be at CMPD's headquarters. We're almost there. Yeah. Hey, Josh, how are you? Did you have fun out here the other night? All right, Josh, you got it. Hey, hey, look, everybody. So this is the dude I was with when I hit that guy in the face hey, last guys. night. <laughs> we were the ones telling him to leave. I was just really mad, was all. Yeah. I broke it. I've done that before. Yeah, me too. Right there. Yep. We good to go three weeks. She said four. I said three. I wish you were speedy recovery. I'm going to go follow <laughs> Okay. All right. We are approaching the intersection of Trade and Davidson. And we are about to be... We are about to be at the... Um, the... Uh, uh, headquarters, CMPD headquarters. We're about to be there.
Steve. Everyone. Everyone. We may be marching for black lives, because black lives do matter. We just make it known. But this affects everyone. This affects the LGBTQ community. This affects poor people. This affects the gay people. Because there are intersectionalities in the whole I'm gonna walk over to Marshall. Oh, are you guys How about that for a drop? You guys just went fucking. See, she's standing up all the way down there. Now that's a phone case. All right, I am going to walk over to Marshall Park and see what they got going on over there because I just walked here from Romare Bearden Park and I don't feel like walking all the way back there. Yeah, dropped again. Dropped you far this time. Oh, my fucking feet. All right. They got going on over at Marshall Park. They're about to start walking back to Romare Bearden. Is everybody down at Marshall Park? Other people over there? Oh, I had to I had to punch some dude in the face at the bar last night for sexually assaulting my friend. I busted my knuckle. So good. I'm happy you're out here though. Yeah. Appreciate you. Man. Um you said there are people down at Marshall Park? I believe that they are. Trying to All right, because that's, sure. that's where I'm headed, because they just came from Romare Bearden Park, and now they're walking back, and that's a long walk. But there was supposed to be a separate group meeting at Marshall, Marshall Park, Park at 7, so they're probably still there. They're, they're, take back to the park. they're taking this back to Romare Bearden, but there should be people at Marshall Park, right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 That's where I'm going. Marshall, yeah, I'm going over to Marshall Park. This is not my crowd. My crowd is in Marshall. Yeah. I don't. I don't recognize. That's not even my organization. I don't recognize no, 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 like no, no, any no. of them. I'm just with them to the time being to they from this up. I'm just trying to understand be that. everywhere. What I'm saying is, we just had a different organization. I'm probably just riding along with them, not knowing what the hell going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I'm just letting them ride. Just let them ride and take all, man. Ride and take off. Even if it ain't got nothing to do with us, they still our people. We're the freedom fighters out here. All right, so we're on our way to Marshall Park because they're done doing their thing. I think that might have been their entire demonstration. Yeah. They marched up here. They took the long way, sat. It was a really nice, silent eight minutes and 40 seconds. But they said that they're going back to Romare Bearden Park to regroup and finish up. So we're heading to the other side. I'm trying to call Mario now. Hey, bro, you got to say hey to everybody. What's going on, live? This is Tashon. Um, I've basically been keeping the bikers and skateboarders all together, keeping our unity together, making sure our front line is straight, make sure the cops cannot break through, and making sure that we have no arrogant people joining our group. The reason being is because we're trying to make sure that we can show love, peace, and unity, and have right. no aggravation towards any cop, and towards any cop having right. aggravation towards us. So now, Park. with that being said, Marshall, 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 Marshall Park. Park. Marshall Park. Now, with that being said, um, I just want you guys to know, for everybody that's watching, I need you guys to share this video so you guys can show the world that us, not only as black people, but as all people are coming together to show unity and peace and show that we are tired of being thrown to the ground and being victimized and being treated like shit by these police. Excuse my friends to anybody that has kids watching this show. 
Now, we're on our way to Marshall. Everybody, we're going to Marshall Park, guys. Marshall Park, spread the word. Oh, they're going their way. With that being said, guys, I want you guys to know this is how I signing out because I got to make sure my bike is straight. All right, you heard it from him. He's a peacekeeper. Both of them. DeMarco Security. I haven't seen. Uh, they're here. They're here, but and Greg here. Okay, so where they at? Though? I have. Uh, we're on our way to Marshall Park. We're at the we're in the courtyard of the government center. What's your Instagram? I don't have an Instagram, bro. You ain't got one. Social media, I ain't gonna hold you. The only thing I have is Snapchat. That oh is God. stay underscore chilled, B-O-I. Stay underscore chilled, B-O-I. He's got Snapchat, that's it. It's stay underscore chilled, B-O-I. He doesn't do, he doesn't do social. I'm heading towards Marshall Park. Everybody said we're heading towards Marshall Park. There's some of them. Yeah, we're going to uh, Marshall Park. Marshall Park. Hey, 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 where you guys at? Okay, we're coming. Bro, I'm coming to Marshall Park now. I've been trying to find out. I'll call y'all for the moment, bro. Uh, uh, stay underscore chill boy. No underscore in between them. But it's just on Snapchat. It's a burden, bro. I don't know where they're going. I kind of left them trying to head towards Marshall Park myself. But I think they're coming to the park themselves. They're coming. We got Python. We got Python. I got the bike coming around. All right. All right. Here's the other group. Whole nother protest going on here. Whole nother crowd. Hey. I marched with another group before I got here. Oh. Did you bring us on? No. What are you where where are you going? Oh, no, I just got here. What's up, man? All right. Well, I'll be here. Oh, can I get one? Thank you. You want water, man? I'm good. appreciate it. All right. Well, I'm going to go chill down here and show the world what's going on. What's going on? Show the world. Dude, why didn't you like my tweet, that song I remixed? Like what tweet? Well, the song I remixed about CPI. Oh. I they were singing <laughs> bye bye CPI drove your image to the limit with a racist goodbye <laughs> and good old boys are drinking all whiskey day? and crying singing this was the day that we died <laughs> <laughs> oh, I guess I don't read the whole thing <laughs> alright well okay Look at my hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's alright. So that's the broken part? Yeah, the knuckle. That little fucker. I'd do it again. Are there, uh... Got a whole nother hand. Are the other folks not marching anymore? Or they just... They're marching back to Romare Bearden Park, and I don't know what their plan is, but this looks more my speed, because I'm done. Yeah. I swear to God. Hey, listen, everybody on the live, I'm sorry, but... If everybody goes to take a, um, if everybody goes to take another march again, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to hang tonight. So a little update on what's happening here. It's from uh, Survive or Seeking Justice CLT Cass Otley, who did the Myers Park march a week or so ago. Um, was that also Sunday night? I think maybe Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. So they're just doing wrapping up a week full of marches by doing a more laid-back memorial service with good music and talking to neighbors. 
and there's a big banner that everyone's signing in the middle that will go to the Floyd family when this is over. And that's the that's the gist of it. Nice. I'm gonna set you guys down for a second and finagle around my backpack. But you can look at this pretty plant. Uh, what, thing on my hand? No. The selfie stick? Yeah. I feel like it's shaky. I can't keep it steady. But uh, it helps. Fuck Matt Damon just followed us on Twitter. You think it's Ben Affleck? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. Do you guys have any questions for Ryan? Is there anything that you want to know about Ryan? I feel like you know everything about me. <laughs> yeah, it was difficult to even walk up here from down there. Um, I didn't realize the Knights and Hornets dropped them too. Bro, everybody, that's why I wrote the song. Oh. And then when the Knights dropped it is why I said ADT is about to steal home on CPI's picture. Oh, that makes sense. I'm killing the Twitter game. <laughs> Do white kids think after this you can walk down black neighborhoods? Bro, Lou, guess what? Guess what, Lou? Blocked. <laughs> is that what you're just taking to do it now? Yeah. Who is Ryan? Josh Pearson. Let me introduce you to my business partner, Ryan Pickin, the editor in chief of Queen City Nerve. He is the one that writes everything. I don't write anything. I'm not actually a journalist. Uh, I kind of fell into this because I have a nice phone for it. Uh, but really, I do all of the sales, sponsorships, partnerships, events, accounting, legal stuff. Uh, business strategy planning and things like that and he does all of the writing he's been doing journalism in Charlotte for 10 years he started at South Charlotte Weekly right? Niner Times first right though? Niner Times and Union Niner County Times at, Niner Times and then he, uh, then he went to Union County Weekly um, and then he was at Creative Loafing for a little bit and then and then, oh, and then he was here just at are. Creative Loafing, yeah, for a while. Now here we are. He was the editor-in-chief there for three months before they shut down. Uh, he ran that thing into the ground. He ran it, and he's the reason that it shut down, so I decided to start a business with him. Uh, and it's just, it is a nice grassy patch. Does Ryan love everyone? Do you love everyone? Absolutely. He said absolutely. Do, he does, no, he doesn't do photography. Ryan is, yes, Holly. Uh, Ryan is the worst photographer I've ever, probably ever met in my <laughs> life. <laughs> you see that Minneapolis has, what they said today? What? The city council has. Um, Listen to this, guys. Oh, what I'm saying? Yeah. Minneapolis City Council has committed to defunding their police department and uh, completely taking it apart, I guess. There's a word I'm looking for. It's not taking it apart. But, uh, and they're going to... Dismantle gonna it. Dismantle, that's it. And they're going to look to, uh, for a community policy, community policing practice now. Ryan is not single. No. Nope. Uh, and he does not have kids. He's got a little. Hey, Grant's here. There he is. It's Grant. Oh, I have. Grant had a great idea. What is it, Grant? Or go ahead and go over it when you're done. Ah. Oh. Uh, got me so excited. And yes, I am single. Um, I gotta head out. Here's Grant. He can talk. Yeah. So uh, cool. That's I'll Ryan. He. Uh, huh? Yeah. Let's get a pick. Um, Grant is one of our photographers. He's been out here a lot with us. He was here that night where we all thought we were going to get shot, and then we left. I was just looking at that picture. 
of us just sort of sitting down there waiting. <laughs> yeah. So right, I'm Minneapolis, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna get down there and show you everything. So Minneapolis is, uh, decided to defund their police department today and uh, dismantle it. And uh, have I ever been to the woodshed? Uh, I've, as ma as many times as I've wanted to go to the woodshed. Because uh, who doesn't love a good gay bar? Uh, no, I've never been to the woodshed. But, um, and then they're, they're implementing a lot of community policing strategies up there. Uh, go look into it. You can write your council members and your congressmen about uh, how North Carolina could do the same things across the state. So... They say you're an amazing photographer. Nice. That nice. is. No, I've never been to the Bamboo Lounge. You ever been to the Bamboo Lounge? I don't believe I've heard of it. I've never heard of it either. Yeah. I'm just going to finish this sig and I'm going to walk down there and show you guys what's going on and we'll sit down and we'll I don't know what we'll do. Maybe I'll cut the stream. Maybe I won't. Nah, I don't hang out in Uptown. I've never been to Roxbury. This is the most time I've ever spent in Uptown in my entire life. This is the past nine days. Is Grant single? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Yeah, I've been to Lumpira. Uh, yeah, I'm a. I'm probably gonna talk to some people. I see Mario Black down there. I'm gonna go talk to him too. Everybody loves him. Hey, what's up, man? How are you? I'm fucking exhausted. You all right? What happened? I had to I had to split some dude's face open at Sanctuary last night. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> well, are you leaving? Yeah, but I'll probably I'll probably hit you up. I'm probably gonna try to get, if, get do, doing some stuff tonight. If they start if they start walking, I'm I'm gonna cut out. I can't do anymore. I was gonna say you've been burning up. Yeah. You need some rest. You've been doing a great job. I'm though. down two holes in my belt. <laughs> Well, it's one thing to do, right? Yeah, I'm about to start just doing this shit for fun. Right. Where's my backpack? I gotta go walk around uptown yeah, for like eight hours. Yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Well, now I'm just standing here all by myself. You guys want to see that plant again? Tell a lie. I'm a flying dragon. Ugh. Yeah, Jordan, I wasn't just sticking up for my friend though. Um, this is a message to all men out there. If uh, you can't keep your hands to yourself when you're in public I will break my hand on your face is that are we in agreement you keep your hands to yourself ask permission you get consent if that then safety but as uh, bad as my hand is his face is just way worse yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go chat with some people. Probably sit down, see uh, how long they've been out here, what kind of stuff they've experienced, maybe how they're feeling now after ten days of this, um, and all that good stuff. But yeah, keep your hands to yourself. Respect women. Uh, cause somebody, somebody's gonna hit you.
All right. Situation on Beatty's Ford Road where some people from out of town organized that event and it was not a good situation for that community. You know, a lot of violence happened, a lot of tear gassing happened, and a lot of us had to go down on the street trying to help our people and we got tear gassed and pelleted and rubber bulleted as well. And that's not a good situation, especially if you're out here with your kids. So we definitely want you to keep safe. Uh, we want you to stay together when you're out in the streets. Never leave alone. Make sure you walk with somebody, make sure you're with somebody. Make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings. Never let anybody march you to any place that's dark. And if you feel like something's wrong, something is wrong. I'm gonna say that again. If you feel like something's wrong, go with that feeling because something's wrong. But at the end of the day, we're all out here in love and united for justice. We want change in Charlotte. We want them to defund the police. You know, we want, everybody to be safe. So that's why we're out here, okay? So we're all one, we're all one family. And I want you to, to constantly keep that in your mind, that we're one family. We all might organize differently, and we might do things a little bit differently, but it's all for the same reason, it's all for love, and it's all for our people. So I just wanted to say that, and um, I'm gonna have Glow come up next from um, Charlotte Uprising, please. Yeah, that's from last night. Thanks, guys. She was there. somebody last night. For real? Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah. God bless all of y'all. I love y'all. I love y'all. Follow us on Instagram. We're feeding on Wednesday. Made the announcement last night. M-U-M-O-C-S-T. That's M-Y-O-U-T-H-M-O-C-S-T-E-E-N-S. I love y'all. Mario. Yeah, some dude sexually assaulted my friend, and I was telling him to get the fuck out of the bar, and he put his he like put his arm around my neck, so I threw him down on the ground, punched him. Uh, takes a little, it takes a little, a uh, little rough up. Yeah. I'm trying to be peaceful, but shit, can only go so far. Oh, I told him to leave like 20 times before that ever happened. I'm sorry to hear that, bro. Yeah. Shit happens, so. Circumstance of this crazy world we live in, man. You know, all of that stuff. Man. Yeah. This, racism, sexual harassment, assault, homosexual, homophobia. All, I mean, God, you know, like, we people. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't get it. I mean, I, I, I don't have to agree with that. I don't have to be a part of that to, you know, do something different. You know? With that, you know, as far as touching somebody unwanted, I just can't it. Damn never man. It's fucking insane. Man, you know what? Not to make everything political. I was reading this thing about this guy 
I think he molested like 28 kids or something. Mm -hmm. so like eight and a half years in jail, you know, something like that. I don't know what it was. He was like a teacher or somebody that had access to a bunch of kids. And it's like, how? Like, that seems like that would be worse than any type of property damage or drug offense or anything like that. It's way worse. Kids, you know what it's I'm saying? You should be, way you should be worse. under the jail. Yeah. In fact, you should go to jail and have to see the three biggest people there the first day. Like yeah. that's, you know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> at that booking. Be, <laughs> at booking. That should be the, that should be a part of the sentencing. Like your first day here. There you go. See, that's the thing though. Everybody needs to understand. If you can hear this in the whole world, if you're a hateful piece of shit, your time will it's come. come. It's yeah. Coming. You know what? And that's that's what I've seen more so than anything else out here because. There has been, you know, a group of people that want to remain people and peaceful, and there's a group of people that are just sick of it. You know what I'm saying? But the whole thing is they're just two tips of the spear because it's coming. Like this, this shit has got to end, you know. And yeah. it's, it's coming to an end. I, I really think it's coming to an end. I hope. Maybe I'm naive, but I, I pray that it's coming to an end. Got to. You know? I don't think people are afraid of their aggressors anymore. Absolutely, absolutely. We're killing the bullies. Yeah. You know that that. that that day and age is over, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's white on black, whether it's straight on gay, whether it's, you know, men over women, you know what I'm saying? That day is done, you know? We're all equal, you know what I'm saying? That's, they put it in the, in the paperwork, you know, when they made this country that everybody is so proud to be a part of, and you know, when they wrote that down, that's what they said. So we gonna hold them to that shit, you know? All men are created equal. You're a good man. I tried to be, man. I had good parents. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Mario Black's got Facebook. It's Mario Black. But yeah, also Million Youth March of Charlotte and Salisbury. Um, when he's done talking, I'll get him to spell that out for you again. I'm going to go sit down next to this water. We're at Marshall Park, Wendy. Hi, my name is Ash. I use him with a pronoun. I'm a Charlotte Uprising. 
I'm here to invite you to our People's Budget Speak Out. It's happening tomorrow right across the street. We hope that you'll join us. I punched somebody in the face the last night at the bar. Yeah, at the bar. The bar, yeah, no, not at the park. What did they do? They uh, grabbed my friend's ass. Yeah. No It's a huge crowd. It's like 700 people or so. They. I'm gonna bring him to my line. This is random. I'm making this shit happen in real life. What's up? That's my brother. How are you guys? Don't ask, guys. Don't ask. I ask. Don't ask. He's not gonna, we're not going to talk about it on. I was there. <laughs> what? She was there. You witnessed? I wasn't with her. I was no, you witnessed it. I didn't witness it. I witnessed the ice on her. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch women. Go to PowerXBank.com. I see the capital is built to buy. So we need to fund the chemical agents used by CNPD. Again, go to PowerXBank.com. If you have it, go on there. That way we get them defunded, that way we get to get hit with the tear gas and the rubber and the emotions that they've been shooting at us. Every year we have a, you know, something going on. Also, and, and this might not be good, some folks might not like me to say it. I know a lot of us say FTP, we know what FTP stands for. But we're going to have to eventually change that and start getting some of our black, brown, and Asian bodies inside of that department because that's the only way it's going to change. We're going to have to change it from the inside. You know, we can't keep telling our kids F12 and they ain't got, even though it's still F12, 
you know, but we have to get them on the inside so we can see a change. Also, we have to stop the gun violence that's going on within our city. I lost my son, April 28th, you know, to gun violence. But we have to work on that as well. We just can't continue coming out when one of the officers kill us if we're not working on us killing us. So we all have to put all of that in, all of that work together. So that's all I have to say. I see my sister, Southeastern, Asian Coalition here, she at. I love the unity that we have. We have black, white, we have the, the, the LGBTQ community, the sex community, everybody works for. I love it. And this is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what, what democracy, democracy looks like. Love y'all, man. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hello, my name is Kat. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, organizing the uh, Southeast Asian Coalition, and most of the executive director of the and stuff like that. Um, we've been out here for a while. Uh, we've been out here. So he is basically talking about how eventually they want to change the narrative of fuck the police and fuck 12 and start getting members of their community in the police department to, to change the way it is from the inside and that they need to start addressing the violence in their own communities because he just lost his son to gun violence on April 28th of this year. Um, he's been out here since Beatty's Ford Road. He's... Uh, my God, I can't imagine. All right, guys, I'm going to cut this feed um, and just relax for a little bit. I might not get back on tonight um, unless something happens. So make sure you're following the page so you get a notification, but... I'm going to hop off real quick, okay? Love you.